if we want to use lighter depths of cut but a faster feed rate, that may well use less electricity than heavier depths of cut at a slower feed rate. Andy, um, a fascinating topic that we're going to discuss in this video today, all about the energy consumption and the efficiency, really, of the robo-drill. Yep. Now, pertinent to current economic times, this is a really important, important conversation, I think, that a lot of engineers are having. How can they minimise the power consumption or the power used within their uh, factory? And this machine can help, can't it? Can you explain? Absolutely can, yeah. I mean, you're quite right. Everyone is um, talking about energy efficiency now. Prices are going up. We want to minimise the power that we're using to machine a component. So Fanuc have introduced a number of uh, creative ways, shall we say, of um, using that power or minimising the energy that the machine uses. Now, what you'll find out during this video as well is um, the exact pounds and pence it costs to run this machine on the application that's in here um, for an hour, which you'll be able to then compare maybe to what um, you're running in your machine shop. Now, tell me about how it does um, reduce consumption. Yeah, so there are, there are a number of ways um, that Fanuc have employed to do that. Um, first and foremost, they're, they're very efficient with the amount of air that they use, compressed air. Um, compressors use uh, quite a lot of energy, so we want to be sure that we're only using compressed air when we need to. So spindle purges, etc., are all timed so that they're running when the axes are running. So it really minimises that consumption. Um, electrical energy, also obviously the lion's share of the, the hourly rate of this machine will be um, the electrical energy that it uses. So there are a number of ways that Fanuc um, reduce that. Uh, we use regenerative technology. What's that? That's so, intriguing. So that's, that's in your hybrid car, really. When you, when you put the brakes on or when you're slowing down, the energy that's used um, in that process of slowing down is not just uh, thrown away or generated by heat. It's put back into electricity that the machine then uses. Okay, okay, so those things, anything else that really adds to the, to um, the reduction in cost? Yeah, we've got, we've got a, um, a smart load meter on here as well, so we can use, um, we can monitor the, the amount of electricity that we're using on the fly and maybe tweak our processes to then say, well, if we want to use lighter depths of cut but a faster feed rate, that may well use less electricity than heavier depths of cut at a slower feed rate. Uh, this, it's, it's, like we said, it's really important um, at the moment. This is such a hot topic. Mm. People could replace a, maybe a, an older, more inefficient machine with this yeah, and see sure. massive savings, couldn't yeah, they? Yeah, yeah, for sure. I mean, the machine itself, the Robo Drill, is a small footprint uh, vertical machining centre. So you can fit more spin spindles into a given area and still have a good working envelope to do that. Mm. Um, the machine itself is energy efficient. Um, well, for example, the, the five axis toolpath that we're using to machine the World Cups here, we use between one and a half to two kilowatts when we're using, when we're actually running that finishing cycle. So it's a, it's a very small amount of power to be using to and, machine that. And this is the point, and this is what I think will resonate with the viewers here. You mm. take that amount of power that you're using, um, we did the numbers or the math and equating that to cost of kilowatts yeah, per hour, didn't yeah, we? Yeah, yeah. And we reckon yeah. that roughly you're talking about a pound an hour to yeah, run I mean, you, on this application. Could be, yeah. I mean, your home energy supply moment, I don't think anyone you know, has been so up to date as they are at the moment in terms of knowing how much or understanding how much electricity costs. You know, 30 pence per kilowatt hour is a pretty known figure now. And yeah, this, this machine will pull around about one and a half to two kilowatts using this application. And you could keep that down to, to that cost mm -hmm. if you chose the machining process to suit it, couldn't you? Yeah, Lighter cuts. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. But it's fast enough to be able to still produce the part quickly, which yeah. is the key element, yeah, isn't yeah. it? You know, there's no compromise. Yeah. Well, that's, that's the thing about the Robo Drill. It is fast, it is nimble. It's got a lightning quick tool changer. Um, BBT 30 spindles, so the spindle's stiff enough to be taking those, those cuts at an extremely high feed rate get around the part faster, a lower depth of cut, to keep the spindle load down, and that will give you returns on your energy usage. Brilliant, Andy. Come and talk to Fanuc about what the robo-drill, or how much money the robo-drill can save you uh, in terms of your power consumption. Uh, such an important topic that is on everyone's mind at present. Thank you, Andy. Uh, thank you.